Welcome to Deep Cuff Channel. Vladimir Putin's nightmare continues. Situation at the front marks the victory of the Ukrainian army. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky has set the new target of his army. Russian army is trying to take new measures. Ukrainian Air Force dealt a massive blow to the Russian troops. Ukrainian Air Defense Shield continues to destroy Russian missiles one by one. Historical record was broken. Belarusian President Alexander Lukashenko gave a shocking order to his army. Tension in the Donbass region is higher than ever. USA announced another very important aid package for Ukraine. War between Ukraine and Russia has been going on for months. According to the latest news from the front, Russia lost 680 soldiers, five tanks, six armored combat vehicles, three artillery systems, four multiple launch rocket systems, and four unmanned aerial vehicles in the last 24 hours. Russia is making serious efforts to compensate for these losses. Ukrainian army started targeting the Crimea region after its attacks against the Russian army. As you know, this area is the main target of the Ukrainian army. According to the latest news from the region, unmanned aerial vehicles belonging to the Ukrainian Air Force carried out attacks on Russian troops serving in the Crimean Peninsula. Regional Governor Sergei Aksyonov said, the danger of attack by unmanned aerial vehicles continues. We don't see any other movement, he said. It was stated that the Ukrainian army carried out an operation in the Crimea region with the participation of three unmanned aerial vehicles last night. There is currently no information on Russian casualties as a result of the attacks. Meanwhile, the Ukrainian army began to mobilize ground forces in the Donbass region. Russian forces continue to suffer extremely heavy losses on land. In the last 48 hours alone, Russian forces have lost close to 1,400 soldiers, and about two to three times that number have been wounded. It is estimated that the Russian army has lost about 100,000 soldiers since the beginning of the war. Just last month's number is 15000. That is very serious number. General Sergei Shirovikin and Russian President Vladimir Putin, who came together after these losses, ordered their troops to attack immediately. In this context, according to the statement made by the Ukrainian general staff in the morning, Ukrainian forces repelled many Russian attacks in the Donetsk and Luhansk regions in the last day. Although it was stated that the Russian army tried to organize organized attacks with the participation of land and air forces to seize a total of 14 settlements, it was noted that the Ukrainian defenders were successful on all fronts. After these attacks, the Russian air force began to be seen in the skies of Luhansk. According to local sources, air defense alarms began to sound in the Luhansk region from noon. While the attacks of Russian warplanes continued, Russian missile and artillery units started their attacks. According to Ukraine's Pravda sources, Russia launched 72 missiles in just a few hours, targeting areas under the control of the Ukrainian army. Baidi Kim, head of the military administration of the Mykolaiv region, announced that the southern region was also affected by Russian missiles. However, the main target of the Russian army is Bakhmut, the critical city of the Donbass region. While most of these missile attacks of Russia were destroyed by Ukrainian air defense systems, a new news came from Kiev. Kiev City Military Administration spokesman Mikhailo Shamanov announced that the Russian army launched a total of 40 missiles at the Ukrainian capital. However, Shamanov reported that 36 of the 40 missiles fired were neutralized by the Ukrainian air defense shield. Russian military has stepped up missile attacks on Ukraine's infrastructure for several months. Basis of this strategy of the Russians is to break the resistance of the Ukrainian army. As you may remember, the Ukrainian army eroded the power of the Russian army at the front by targeting the Russian supply lines and ammunition depots, especially before the great counterattack in the south. Ensuing counterattack continued until the Ukrainian army recaptured the Kherson region. Here, Russia aims to reverse the situation on the front by copying the strategy of the Ukrainian army. However, the X factor here is the air defense systems owned by the Ukrainian army.
systems that Western countries provide to Ukraine, together with their success at the front, play an important role in hindering Russia's advance. As a matter of fact, the commander-in-chief of the Ukrainian Armed Forces Valery Zaluzhny officially announced that 60 of the 72 missiles that the Russians fired at the Ukrainian army were destroyed by the Ukrainian air defense systems. According to preliminary data, Russia uses missiles X-101, caliber X-22, 59 kilo ampers, and HS-31. These missiles stand out as the most advanced missiles in the Russian defense inventory. Fact that the Ukrainian air defense shield can easily neutralize these missiles makes Russian leader Putin extremely angry. This is the main reason for the threats from Russia after the U.S. announced its decision to send patriots to Ukraine the other day. Putin is aware that as long as air defense systems come to the Ukrainian army, he will not be able to win this war. For this reason, the Russian leader is making serious efforts to involve Belarus in the war. In this context, the general staff of the Ukrainian Armed Forces states that Minsk has taken measures that can be perceived as deliberate steps in preparations for war against Ukraine. Despite these allegations, it seems unlikely, at least until recently, that Belarusian forces are involved in the Ukrainian war. Reason for this is that the Belarusian army does not have a strong land and air force. Also in Belarus there is information about the creation of new units of the Russian army, in particular partially mobilized soldiers. Russia has sent many systems and soldiers to the region for several months to strengthen the Belarusian army. However, as a result of the intense attacks carried out by the Ukrainian army in the Donbass region, Russia recalled most of the soldiers and systems it sent to Belarus. Currently, Belarus will remain neutral, mainly due to Western sanctions and the weakness of its military. Putin's main goal is to build a large Soviet army by involving Belarus in the war. But Ukraine's defense minister said that the Ukrainian military had broken Russian President Vladimir Putin's combat tactics and failed because his troops were still a large Soviet army. Main reason for the weakness of the Russian army at the front is inexperienced soldiers and insufficient logistical resources. Since the Russians could not replace the system or military they lost, their problems are growing with the snowball effect. It is not known how Russian President Putin will solve these problems. Many officials in the Kremlin are extremely dissatisfied with the situation on the front. Putin's political and military authority in Russia began to break down. On the other hand, with the latest aid announced by the U.S. military, the problems of the Russians may increase greatly. U.S. Congress has approved a record date $158 billion U.S. defense budget for next year, which includes military aid funds to Ukraine, according to the latest reports by Reuters. Defense budget has been allocated $45 billion more than President Joe Biden originally proposed. Budget provides a salary increase for the American military, funds for the purchase of weapons, support for Taiwan, which is threatened by China, and 800 million military support to Ukraine to repel Russian aggression. Project was approved by an overwhelming 11 votes to 83. As long as the U.S. military supports Ukraine, the winner of the war is clear. We will continue to monitor the world and especially Ukraine. We'll see what happens in the next few days. We have reached the end of another video. You can support us by liking the video. You can easily follow new videos by subscribing. I wish you all a war-free day. See you.